Welcome to Commando Lynn. Today, take a look at um, a few of my favorite things from The Sound of Music, Rodgers and Hammerstein, 1959 Broadway musical. Uh, of course, made famous, Julie Andrews, uh, the big movie, 1965, uh, The Hills Were Alive. But hey, tra translates great into the uh, eight stringer here. And it makes a great little project. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. Hey, before we get going, be sure to subscribe down below. Command and land a lot of these lessons and tutorials and sometimes reviews of things. Um, of course, I have the link to the Command and land store. Be sure to check out some t-shirts, uh, stickers, and hoodies. And, of course, I put the PayPal thing down there. And if you're getting anything from the channel, I could kick it a buck or two. Uh, would sure be appreciated. But hey, enough of the commercial, let's check it out here. Rogers and Hammerstein, uh, a few of my favorite things. All right, it's in E minor, so I'm um, going to start out by E minor chord, 4th fret on the G string, 5th on the D, 2nd on the A, and open string up top here. And it's in 3-4 time, so it has this waltz kind of feel. bottom string for beat number one and then two three on the other strings one two three one two three and just the guitar player habit in me I always or oftentimes will palm mute just lay a little bit of the palm on the strings so you can control the sound or else it's just you don't want that you want this Here comes the melody. All right, so when you're ready for the uh, melody, you'll hit the one beat here, as always. But instead of instead of following through with that, we're going to go into the melody, which is and what this is. It's just the E minor chord sitting here, and then pretend these fingers are still here. I'm going to move them out of the way for a second so you can see. But here's the melody that's taking place. It's just 7th um, fret up here, 2nd, open, and then down here to the B, and then back to the open, and then pulling off. You're playing that melody, but with the other part of the E minor still sitting here. You're still doing the same thing with your hand, your, your other finger and your pinky, just holding the E minor chord. Now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to switch over to a C major. Fifth, second, and third, respectively. C major, and we're going to use our pinky and our pointer finger to play this same little pattern. Again, this, these two won't move. It's that same little pattern. 7, 2nd, open, and then you just set this back on the C, and then open and pull off. So both of those together, I don't want to draw this out too long, but both of those together. Alright, that leads us to what I like to call the fun part. Here, let me... Uh, Play it for you and we'll break it down. That part. We're just going to start in A minor, uh, second, second, and third. You're just going to bar the second here with your finger, third there, and then open E. The open E is very important. That's your melody, so make sure that thing rings out underneath there. Just gonna hit it one time, just like that, everything. And now with your pinky, second, or the seventh, I'm sorry, seventh to the fifth. So that's one chord and phrase. Looks trickier than it is, I promise. All right. 
and we're going to go to a D7, which is the second fret and on the G, and third fret on the A, and everything else open. And you're going to hit them all. Then, as the opening is ringing, second fret and then down here to the fifth. So it sounds like this. So those two together. And then it's a G chord right here. Fourth, and then fifth of, fifth of the middle two strings. And your, your finger is already here because you need this melody. You need the fifth and the third, and your finger's already here. So I find the easiest just to lean it down there and catch, catch that fifth fret. So here's those so far. And then end on the C chord, plain old C chord, second and third. All right, so that whole little phrase together. finger G chord, second fret of the A string, then open underneath it. I'm just going to go second, third, fifth, now we're going to go C major chord, just basic C, second fret and third fret, and open, make sure to hit that open, because that's the melody note. Second and third, and from there, this nifty little chord, 4th fret on the D, 3rd on the A, and the 5th on the high E. And just reach up, grab the 7th, and then let go of the 7th, back to the 5th there, and end on this little harmony, 6th fret of the A, 7th fret of the D. It's just part of a, part of a 7th chord there. But... You'll go back into the, if you want, a couple bars of this. Just like before. But the second time. Is how, um, how it sounds, what we're breaking down. And you're just sliding, you're walking up six. Seven, eight, and when you get to the eight, just stay there and also put down the six and the seven. I like that chord a lot, it's so it's very open and mysterious sound. Alright, that leads into this. This is a seventh fret on the high E. You'll hit it twice. On the third time, add down here the tenth fret. And then drop down to the seventh fret on the A string. You can even hit both notes all three times. Very minimal difference. There's no wrong answers. But three beats of this. And then that note. Uh, move down here to the fifth fret. And the ninth fret here. And then you'll catch the sixth there. So. One more. The third and the seventh. And that just leads down to second fret and a C chord, C major chord. Super easy. Whoops, huh? Super easy, and he does it wrong. There it is.
right into that big C chord. Now we're just going to build up. Don't even have to move the C chord. This finger stays put. I'm just going to do a little back and forth on the second to the open. Down here, just those top two strings. Move everything up. One fret to the fourth and the third. And we'll just, uh, keeping the third fret on the high E, we'll place the fifth fret. Take it off and put it back on twice. Back to the third there to lead up into our... This would be a big G. Here, let me play for it as I was and break it in. We're almost to the end of the song here, so we're building up. It's a G chord, just fifth fret, barred in the middle with the middle two strings with that finger, and then the seventh fret uh, with with the what would that be? Ring finger. <laughs> Adding, taking your pinky, just adding that note on and off. And when it comes to this, you know, uh, it's, the line is, you know, then I don't feel so bad. It's right here in the last second to last note, the word so is just a B. But sometimes I like to put this a seventh chord under it. And I don't know if that's technically correct. I don't know if it goes B7 to G at the end of this. But I sure like the way it resolves there. And then just down to a G chord. A third fret on the high E. Fifth fret there and then open bottom two so you get the biggest get that big sound you don't have to do the seventh chord you know you can just do it like that again there's no wrong answers from the top. Here's everything. <laughs> 